So good day everyone. We are the group to task to present the topic of Unit 2, which is culture and moral behavior. But before we go to our topic, I will give you an example. We have the colorful, beautiful, and inspiring traditions in Africa that makes us stand out in the world at large. We also have the harmful, negative, and dangerous ones. One of such tradition is female genital mutilation or cutting, FGM, which is wrongly called female circumcision. So, what is FGM? FGM stands for female genital mutilation comprises all procedures that involve partial or total removal of the external female genitalia or other injury to the female genital organs for non-medical reasons. The practice is mostly carried out by traditional circumcisors who often play other central roles in communities such as attending childbirths. In many settings, healthcare providers perform FGM due to the belief that the procedure is safer when medicalized. WHO strongly urges healthcare providers not to perform FGM. FGM siya yung isang practice na kung saan ginagawa ng mga tao sa isang uh, above 5 years old na female. So, yung FGM ba na to ay gina ginagawa lang ng isang religion? Actually, yung FGM ay ginagawa ng kahit anong religion. Kung ikaw ay Muslim, pwede rin ikaw ay Christian or Jew or other pagan believers. But this FGM is commonly found or makikita lang natin tong, tong practice na ito ngayon sa kontinente ng Africa. So, there are forms of FGM. First is type 1 or clitoridectomy, which is removing part or all of the clitoris. Second type is excision, or removal or all the clitoris and the inner labia, with or without removal of labia majora. Then third is infibulation, or narrowing of the vaginal opening by creating a seal, formed by cutting and repositioning the labia. And there are other harmful procedures such as including pricking, piercing, cutting, scraping, or burning the area. So, makikita nga natin, di ba, na itong practice na ito ay legal sa uh, Africans dahil ito ay practice nila. Pero, alam natin na although na yung WHO ay Gusto nang mahinto itong practice na ito, pero dahil to ay practice ng mga Africans, to ay patuloy na ginagawa pa rin nila. So, after that, uh, example, para masagutan natin kung ano nga ba yung ibig sabihin nun sa kanila kung norms ba yan or culture, makikita natin sa uh, topic na ito. So, first, what are norms? Norms, according to Baker, 2004, refer to social and cultural regulations and decrees that govern the everyday activities of people, inclusive of its moral and ethical imperatives, customs, and cultural practices. So, makikita nga natin dito na yung norms, ito yung ginagawa ng tao sa kanyang pang-araw-araw na pamumuhay. Whether it is Good or bad, ito yung nag-govern sa kanyang pang-araw-araw na buhay niya. So, next, what is culture? So, culture is defined as the complex whole, which includes knowledge, beliefs, arts, morals, law, customs, and any other capabilities and habits acquired by man as a member of society. So, yung culture, ito yung namamana. Not 
na character ng isang tao. It means na habang tumatanda siya at nandun siya sa isang part ng society, na-acquire niya kung ano yung ginagawa ng society niya. Yun yung culture. So, ay pwedeng maring uh, knowledge, mga kaalaman na naipapasa o kaya beliefs or religions. Pwede rin tong yung arts, yung kung ano yung ginagawa nila sa kanilang katawan. O pwede rin yung kanilang morals, kung ano ba yung tama o mali sa kanila. So, the other definition of culture is, it is one big chunk of our society that dictates how we are supposed to act in varying situations based on what is right and wrong, acceptable or not. As our actions and perspectives are culturally constructed, so is our moral behavior. Since culture is the totality of learned, socially transmitted customs, knowledge, material, objects, and behavior. That is according to Schaeffer, 2013. It is only right to comprehend and appreciate its impact in the overall understanding of people of who they are and in their decision making. Tulad nga ng sinabi ko kanina, yung culture yung nagdidictate kung ano yung dapat nilang gawin or kung paano sila mamuhay sa kanilang pamumuhay. Then yung susunod na lesson, makikita natin kung ano nga ba yung epekto ng culture sa mga Pilipino. At ito ay didiscuss ng next presenter. So, good day. I am Emmanuel Giwa and I'll be explaining the Filipino way. Reflecting on the existing or current terms of right and wrong is one way on looking the problems of morality here in the Philippines. So, uh, itong uh, part ng discussion na i-discuss ko is about the norms, the Filipino way, reflecting on norms, mga nakagalian, kung ano yung basihan sa tama o mali, sa mga problema dito sa Pilipinas. So, may lima akong example and ang una is group-centeredness or groupthink. Uh, explain what will others say usually determines Filipino moral behavior. So, ito na yung pinaka-key point. Kung ano yung sasabihin ng iba, yun yung magde-define kung ano yung tama o mali sa action mo. Which is wrong kasi uh, iba-iba tayo ng circumstances and situation sa buhay And, hindi point of view ng tao yung magde-define sa kung ano yung tama o mali. Pero, ito yung kinaugali yan dito sa Pilipinas eh. Second, don't be caught. Attitude based on shame or fear of the authority figure. So, since ang fear and authority is one way for controlling the uh, mass of people, uh, which is applicable sa lahat ng bansa, may mga batas, may mga uh, otoridad na nagpapatupad nito. So, ano nga ba yun? Ang halimbawa is National Smoking Ban, which is nagtatalaga sila ng mga lugar na kung saan doon lang pwedeng manigarilyo and syempre bawal kap- sa social places. Pero, dahil nga nakikita naman natin na dinidisregard ito ng karamihan ng tao and na uh, evident naman na nakikita natin na marami naninigarilyo kung saan. ba? Diba? Pero hindi pa rin nahuhuli. Basta, tama yung ginagawa mo. Uh, mali yung ginagawa mo, pero nagmumukha siyang tama as long as hindi ka nahuhuli. So, ito yung norm na yon. And in line with this norm, uh, uh, example, uh, yung another is complacency. Uh, when one is aware but is not concerned. Ito naman, Uh, uh, kung ialay natin sa example ng national smoking ban ito naman yung taong hindi naninigarilyo pero nakikita niya yung taong gumagawa ng action na yun and nakikita niyang mali pero hindi niya sinusumbong o inire-report so isa yun Yan. even though we were aware of it there are still a lot of Filipinos who do not really mind about changing the status quo by invoking the right of suffrage but are just so indifferent about it. 
So, dinidisregard na lang nila yung action ng mali as long as hindi sila involved doon. And last but not the least, ito yung pinaka-evident, uh, even tayo siguro, no, mga estudyante, is uh, guilty dito. Rationalization. We have the instinct of justifying an act no matter how wrong it is. Student do know for a fact that cheating is bad, still and all, if they feel like it is the only way. So, rationalization is uh, natural um, characteristic of a human person. Uh, ano nga ba ito? Ito nga yung pinaka-unique characteristic nating mga tao na nag-differentiate sa atin sa mga hayop. At ito rin yung isa sa part na parang mali. Kasi instinct na natin na i-justify uh, panindigan yung mali natin ginawa kahit na mali yun halimbawa nga doon sa example na to is yung pagchichit ng mga estudyante once makot ka wala ka namang masasabi na iba pa kasi mali na yun pero still, ginajustify ng mga estudyante yung act na mali act ng pandudugak in a way nasasabihin sa sobrang dami ng ginagawa kaya niya to nagawa still, mali pa rin yun And, ayun niya, ito yung mga norms o kal- kaugalian na naha, uh, nakikita natin, na-experience natin. Ito yung The Filipino Way. So, yun lang po. Salamat. Hi guys! I'm Calvigiano Antonio and I will be the one to report the topic, Functions of Culture, under Unit 2, Ethics and Culture. Now, let's proceed to the discussion. Yan. So first, what does it mean when we say functions of culture? Ano nga ba yung pumapasok sa isipan natin pag sinabi natin functions of culture? So from the word function, uh, by definition, it is an activity or purpose ng isang bagay. Ito yung kung para saan yung bagay na yon, Kung para saan siya ginagamit or paano siya gumagana. And next naman is culture. From the word culture, The meaning of culture is a way of life of a group of people. Ito yung pamamaraan ng pamumuhay ng isang grupo ng mga tao. Okay? So, functions of culture. So, parang pag pinagsama natin yun, ito yung purpose ng culture. So, ito yung purpose ng culture dun sa society. So, para saan nga ba yung culture? Ano nga ba yung ginagawa ng culture? And sa topic natin, i-discuss natin kung ano nga ba yung ginagawa ng culture sa society natin. And let's go to the functions of culture. Ayan. So first, functions of culture is culture provides identity to the people in the society. This is what separates communal groups from each other. They are known by their distinct traditions and beliefs that they hold dear. So sabi sa unang functions ng culture that yung culture daw is nagbibigay ng identity. So in short, yung culture ang nagbibigay ng pagkakakilanlan dun sa isang lugar na yon or sa grupo ng mga tao na yon Parang, pag sinabi natin yung lugar na yon is ma- meron na tayong idea kung anong culture or meron silang unique culture na sa kanila lang. Halimbawa, ah, pag sinabi natin yung bansang Japan, ano ba yung parang culture na pumapasok sa utak natin? ba diba? Sa modern culture nila ngayon, is yung pwede natin sabihin na anime kasi dun sila kilala. And next naman is, halimbawa, sa Philippines, pag sinabi natin Philippines, ano yung pumapasok sa utak natin na culture culture natin? Halimbawa is yung mga festivals natin. Mas, kasi sikat yung mga festivals natin is dahil napakarami nating festivals throughout, their, throughout our nation. And also, culture na rin natin is yung siguro yung mga karakteristik natin. Halimbawa yung... Uh, pagiging hospitable o yung pagiging welcoming natin dun sa mga bisita na dumadating so yun yung isang function ng isang culture that it gives identity to the people in the society next naman, next functions of culture is culture mirrors the laws of the land laws in one society is born out of the norms which are the socially acceptable behavioral patterns in the community These norms are held with supreme importance and so the people make sure that they are systemized and followed by all. Going against these laws are punishable in most if not all cases. So sabi naman sa second na 
functions ng culture na yung culture daw is nagmi-mirror ng laws ng land. So, halimbawa, sa isang tribe, halimbawa sa isang tribo, uh, may culture sila na kuwari sa isang specific na araw, kailangan nilang gawin yung bagay nito, which is parang nagiging batas na sa kanila na parang sacred na kailangan mong gawin to sa lugar ay gawin kailangan mong gawin to sa mismong araw na yon. And parang nagiging batas na sa kanila yun. Halimbawa, hindi mo ginawa yung dapat mong gawin that day. Na which is uh, parang supreme na batas para sa tribo nyo. Pwede ka maparasahan doon. So parang ganun yung sinasabi ng culture dito. That culture mirrors the lands of, mirrors the laws of the lands. So parang yung culture mo is nag, nagsiset siya ng mga batas ayon dun sa mga nakasanayan natin. Okay? Okay. Next naman ng functions of culture is culture unites people in ways that only those who belong in that society understand. Ayan. Tulad nga ng sinabi natin kanina, yung meaning ng culture is a way of life of group of people. So, syempre, ito yung nagbibig, uh, yung culture daw yung parang nag unite dun sa mga tao na yon sa isang lugar. Kasi they share the same thoughts, same ideas, and same culture nga, ba? Diba? So, parang ganon. So, kung sino yung nagkakaintindihan dun sa culture na yon is nagkaaroon ng unity. Halimbawa, sa ibang, lug- sa ibang tao din, mayroon silang same culture na ginagawa din nung, uh, nung ginagawa mong culture. So, by that common ground na nagkakaroon kayo ng connection sa bawat isa, nagkakaroon kayo ng unity para nagsishare yung culture nyo which is uh, nagsishare yung ay nagsishare yung same culture nyo halimbawa yun sa mga Muslim brothers natin dito dito sa bansa natin uh, yung ginagawa ng mga Muslim brothers and sisters natin dito is same lang din ang ginagawa ng mga Muslim uh, sa ibang bansa so they share the same uh, culture and lastly sa functions of culture natin, ang last function of culture natin is culture influences our concept of morality. Culture provides the rules of the game in the society through our cultural norms. It is very much prescriptive of what is morally right or wrong, what is respectful and not affecting our patterns of behavior. It is the culture that molds, if not dictates, the values that should be adhered adhered by the people. So, dito naman sa last function ng culture natin, sinasabi dito that yung culture natin is nag influence dun sa concept of morality natin. So, sinabi na nga natin nung una that yung culture, ito yung way of life ng, ng isang grupo ng tao. And, dahil nga ito yung way of life, ito yung pang-araw-araw na nakakasanay natin. And through generations, different generation napapasa na pa, napapasa ng nang napapasa itong mga culture na to which create norms. Big sabihin pag sinabi nating norms, 'di ba? Ito yung mga bagay na nakasanayan na natin. Okay? So, yung culture daw natin, siya yung nag-influence sa morality natin. So, pag sinabi naman nating morality, it is the right or wrong. Ito yung nagsabi ng yung isang bagay is right or wrong or good or bad. Magbibigay ako ng example. Halimbawa is yung sa tribe sa Baguio. Sa Baguio is meron silang nakasanay na culture or in tradition na yung kumakain sila ng dog meat. Okay? So, para sa atin, para sa mga hindi naman na, hindi aware dun sa culture nila, syempre, parang immoral para sa atin yun. Not immoral or pag sinabi natin is bad. Kasi hindi naman na, hindi na sa lugar natin, nakasanay natin na yung mga aso is inaalagaan. Pero sa lugar nila, yung culture nila is kinakain yung aso which is uh, yun yung nakasanay nila or yung ito yun na yung norms nila para sa kanila is it is yung moral or yung kailangan nilang gawin it is the right thing to do and may batas din tayo about sa pinagbabawal na pagkain ng mga karne ng aso pero hindi sila sakop nung batas na yun which is they are which because is it is their culture ito na yung nakasanay ng tribu, ng tribu nila nung mga sinaunang panahon pa So, so, yun yung sinasabi na yung culture daw influences our concept of morality. So, y- yan is nakadepende sa mga nakasanayan nating o sa nakasanayan nating lugar na kinalakihan. So, ulitin ko lang, meron tayong apat na functions of culture. 
first functions of culture is culture provides identity to the people in the society. Next is culture mirrors the laws of the land. Next is culture unites people in ways that only those who belong in that society understands. And next is lastly, culture influences our concept of morality. Next, in a nutshell, our moral actions are embedded in the social structure provided by the tradition of old. There is no way that we will decide without invoking our cultural moral biases. How we talk, think, and top daily judgments is definitely carved by what we were raised to believe is morally acceptable or not. So dito, sinasabi ko nga is yung culture natin is napapa, napapasa through generations. And that sa tagtagal nung uh, pagpapasa-pasa nung culture na yun, nakakabuo siya ng norm o yung mga nakakasanayan natin bagay. Which is para sa iba is morally acceptable and para sa iba naman is morally hindi sila acceptable para sa kanila. So, ang ang, ang pinaka main idea lang dito is yung uh, yung culture natin or moral actions natin ay naka-embed is embedded dun sa culture na ginawa or uh, culture na kinasanayan ng mga past generations natin and napapasa sa atin through time. Okay? So, that is the explanation or uh, that is the topic about the functions of culture. Thank you. Hi guys, um, I'm John Vincent Villa from BSE Tutu at naitalaga sa atin na i-report ay ang cultural relativism. So, for introduction, ano nga ba yung cultural relativism? Um, bakit mahalaga ito sa iba't ibang cultures, di ba? Uh, ano nga ba ang cultures para sa akin at para sa iyo? Ano ba dapat 'yun? Base sa cultural rel relativism, di ba? So, in the end of this uh, presentation, uh, I hope na maintindihan natin lahat kung ano nga ba talaga yung cultural relativism. Uh, so, ayon kay Holmes 2007, It is the view that moral beliefs and practices vary with and depend on the human needs and social conditions of particular cultures. So, ang sinasabi niya lang dito ay ang pagkakaiba ng cultures at panini paniniwala ng isang individual sa sa na base sa kanyang pangangailangan. Kunyari na lang diyan yung ano, yung dito sa atin. Uh, meron tayong iba't ibang Dios, di ba, dati. Meron tayong Dios ng lupa, Dios ng langit, Dios ng tubig, Dios ng araw, Dios ng araw, di ba? Hmm. Bakit nila ginagawa 'yon? Yun yung mahalagang tanong doon. Bakit nila ginagawa yun? It is based on their human needs, di ba? Ginagawa nila yun para mag-prosper. Para lumago yung pananim. Para umunlad yung uh, mga lupain, di ba? Para yumabong. So, ginagawa nila yun. Ayon, ayon, yun, ayon yun kay Holmes 2007. Dito naman kay Fiala and Mackinon 2013, There is no culture that can be the basis of all that is good and true. So, para sa kanya naman ay walang, parang, walang criteria. Di ba? Walang good, walang true, walang totoo, walang tama. Di ba? Para sa kanya. Cultural relativism para sa kanya ay Walang basis. Dito naman kay Kellenberg 2011, um, ito daw ay ang celebration and appreciation of cultural diversity. So, para sa kanya, um, sineselebrate dapat ang cultural relativism since it is a cultural diversity kung saan pagkakaiba-iba sa iba't ng iba't ibang kultura. di ba? Dapat natin iselebrate yun ayon kay Kellenberger 2011, di ba? Dito naman kay Brown, 2008. Encouraging cross-cultural understanding and contributing to an expansion of human freedom. Uh, para sa kanya naman, yung cultural rel relativism ay ang um, pagtingin pa rin. Awareness. Awareness sa iba't ibang cultures. At pagintindi sa mga ito to gain uh, wisdom 
And wisdom is equals to freedom, right? ba? Diba? So, ayun. Dito naman kay um, Herder, as cited sa Sika, in Sika 2011, there are no objective and transcultural criteria for judging between these systems. ba? Diba? Halos parehas lang yon ng kay Fiala and McKinnon 2013, which is um, walang basis, wala pa rin daw criteria ang cultural relativism, di ba? So, ayon. For conclusion, um, it is a one way of knowing which ethical views work in certain contexts. It is by understanding the cultures of different people, di ba? Ayun yung sinabi ko kanina kung saan pag analisa pag iintindi sa iba't ibang cultures to gain knowledge and to gain freedom, di ba? So, dito naman sa pangalawa ay ang communal groups have ways in which they show respect for people, for the law, for the environment, and what not. Diba? Ang cultural relativism daw ay ang pagtingin. Pagtingin sa society. Sa society. Kung ano ba, kung ano ba dito yung dapat, kung ano ba dito yung dapat na iayon ayon sa iayon sa culture, di ba? Dahil sa mula sa culture nila kung paano natin iintindihin yung culture, yung laws and um, their peoples at ang community community nila dahil sa culture nila, di ba? And last, the uh, viewing people's behavior from the perspective of their culture. Uh, ito nga din yung pagtingin pa rin, awareness pa rin, di ba? Awareness ng iba't ibang individual dahil sa kan- mula sa kanilang kultura, di ba? Ayun ang cultural relativism, mga my friends. So, kung titingnan nyo to, yung screen natin na yan, meron sa kaliwa na picture ay mga Indians, particular, particularly Indians na nakabalot sa dirts ng baka, mga cows. At dito naman sa kabila, sa kanan naman ay meron naman makikita ay nakapala. May pala sa pisngi, di ba? Cheek piercing, di ba? Ang laki. <laughs> Bakit nga ba nila ginagawa ito, di ba? Mula sa develop mula sa isang develop na individual mapapatanong ka talaga kung bakit nila ginagawa ito di ba pero dito sa cultural relativism kung iaayon mo yung sarili mo sa culture nila dito sa mga Indians na to na may dirt may cow dirts ay ginagawa nila ito para daw maproteksyonan nila ang sarili nila sa COVID-19 di ba tama ba yon mali ba yon Diba? Di mo, di natin masasabi kung tama ba 'yun o mali ba 'yun kasi ayun 'yun sa culture nila din. Ayun din sa paniniwala nila. Dito naman sa kanan yung cheek piercing. Tama ba 'yun, mali 'yun? Walang tama ang mali diyan. It depends on sa paniniwala nila kung bakit nga ba nila dapat ginagawa 'yun, bakit nila ginagawa 'yun, di ba? It depends on their culture, my friends, di ba? So ayun. Now, I mean, naintindihan nyo naman yun, yung explanation na yun about that. Cultural re- relativism versus moral relativism. Ano yung pinagkaiba nila, di ba? So, may pinagkaiba nga ba talaga sila? So, let's go. Ang cultural, cultural relativism daw ay um, <clears throat> awareness that people behave according to their own culture and the judgment should be made based on their respective culture. Uh, ayon doon, uh, it, it, uh, pumapaloob lang to sa culture, about sa culture, di ba? Culture lang, culture. Habang moral relativism naman ay refers to the fact that the moral, morality of an individual action is also relative to the cultural, religious, and philosophical standing of a community. ba? Diba? So, yung, <clears throat> yung moral relativism naman daw ay um, mas malawak na ano, mas malawak na fuck. Fuck, ba? Diba? Of an individual action na nakabase sa 
culture, culture, religion, my friend, religion at philosophical understanding, di ba? So, kung gagawa ka ng kung irere kagaya na lang nga na ito. Um, bribing, di ba? Yung bribing. Tama ba 'yon? Ayun sa religion, sa culture tama ba 'yon? Sa philosophical understanding tama ba 'yon? Sinabi ba nila Plato, ni Socrates 'yon, di ba? Di ba hindi naman ayun nga doon sa culture nagkagawian na 'yon, eh, nakagawian na eh, di ba? Kunyari sa Mexico kasi uso doon eh sa mga Latin Americans. Um, Latin American countries, di ba? Uso doon 'yon. Pero pag pinunta mo 'yan sa mga urban countries tsaka Asian countries dito. Uh, masasabi mo bang tama yun dito? Masasabi mo bang <clears throat> pwede natin gawin yun dito? Di ba hindi? Pero hindi ko sinasabi na mali yun o tama. Ang sinasabi ko lang ay ginagawa nila yun based on their cultures din. Tsaka morals. Moral. moral mo yun, ang, yun ang gustong iparating, iparating ng moral relativism. Papasok sa kanya yung uh, religious religious and philosophical understanding. Pero, ayun lang yung pinagkaiba ng cultural relativism sa moral relativism. Ang pinagkaparehas lang nila, my friends, um, universality is rejected. Ibig sabihin nun ay um, <clears throat> walang basis, walang criteria nga. Diba? Wala ding um, wala ding tama, wala ding mali. Diba? Uh, kagaya nga nung sa cultural relativism it depends on their culture sa moral relativism depends on morals philosophical understandings and religion ayun nang pinagkaiba nila my friends cultural relativism debunks ethnocentrism ano nga ba yung ethnocentrism di ba ang ethnocentrism my friends ay ang um, pag <clears throat> pagiging Uh, superior ng isang individual dahil sa kanyang culture. Um, more prone dito ay ang mga ano eh, mga developed countries, mga urban countries. Piling nila na superior sila. Kung yun yung kung yun yung gugustuhin nila. Kung yun yung maiisip nila, di ba? Ethnocentric. From the word ethno and the uh, cent, cent- center, di ba? Parang superior, self superior, di ba? Culture superior. So, bakit din ay debunk ng cultural relativism ang ethnocentrism? Ano nga ba ito, di ba? Bakit nila ginagawa 'yon? So, ayun nga kay Bruce and Yearly 2006 ang ethnocentrism nga din daw ay um, practice of taking one's own people, society, and culture to be the vantage point from which all else is viewed and judged, di ba? Kagaya ng sinabi ko kanina, um, isang indib- ito yung isang individual na ano eh, na uh, proud na proud sa sarili dahil sa kanyang kinalakiang culture, di ba? Kung paano to, uh, kung paano yung mga views and uh, kung paano Uh, pinapangalanda ko yung views nila, yung judgments, di ba? Ayun yung gustong iparating ni Bruce and Yearly 2006. So, <clears throat> bakit nga ba dinedebank ito ng cultural relativism? <clears throat> so, being ethnocentric daw ay uh, It is a prone to misreading context. And context says, therefore, misjudging individuals from other cultures. Diba? When the behavior of other people is understood based on a prescribed singular tradition, they will be assumed as odd, creepy, otherworldly, and deem their actions as utterly, lo- utterly wrong, if not unacceptable. Diba? Ang ethnocentrism daw ay naglilid sa maling pagjudge sa mga tao ng sa community ng sa community at culture nila di ba so ang et, ang cultural relativism daw ay isang gamot antidote na 
nagka-cure sa isang ethnocentric na individual at sa ethnocentrism, di ba? Ayun yung ayun yung purpose ng cultural relativism dito, di ba? So, ayun. Uh, I hope you realize something dito sa PowerPoint natin at sa presentation. God bless you all and thank you. Bye. Peace. Um, good day to everyone. Um, I'm here to report about the continuation of cultural relativism. Um, specifically, xenocentrism. First, what is xenocentrism? According to Bell 2017, um, it is the belief that one's cultural features are a downgrade in comparison to, comparison to those of other cultures. So, what does it mean? Um, ibig sabihin lang no, na isa siyang paniniwala na yung kultura ng isang particular group is mas bababa kaysa sa isa. And we have this um, group of people na tinatawag natin xenocentric individuals. Sino sila? Um, according to Bell also, 2017, um, xenocentric individuals are those person who values commodities, style, culture or even ideas from another country or culture other than their own. So, sila yung mga tao na um, mas pinapaboran yung kultura ng ibang tao. Especially dito sa Pilipinas, um, sobrang kilala nung uh, colonial mentality na yung paniniwala natin na ma, may mga bansa na mas far superior than our than ours, syempre. Um, Also, it is a belief that what is foreign is best in terms of lifestyle, products, or ideas. Especially yung mga, pare sa beauty products, di ba? Yung mga real products, yung sinasabi na mas better na products sa in terms of beauty products. So, next is the xenophobia. So, what is xenophobia? Um... Um, it is a the dislike or the prejudice against people from other countries. So, um, may pwede natin siyang ipahirin tulad sa pagiging racist, no? Na dinadowngrade yung isang group of people. Um, for example, this time, yung mga Chinese people is saying sa kanila sila yung naging cause ng um, COVID-19. So, it is a, a example of that. Another, that. another of that is kapag yung mga muslim, yung tingin agad sa mga muslim is mga terorista, ganyan um, mga eh, mga terorista, ganyan so yan, example yun ng xenophobia um, so next natin is the strengths and weaknesses of cultural relativism so it has its, its own strength and weaknesses um, let's focus on the strength first um, it has three strengths first is What is considered morally right and wrong should be judged based on cultural context. And second, cultural relativism is an answer to cultural annihilations. And lastly, cultural relativism promotes multiculturalism. And, and on the other side, its weaknesses are cultural relativism might fall prey into the idea that universal standards do not exist. Um, second, if universal standards do not exist, so does morality. Of course, lastly, cultural relativism um, give birth to ethical relativism which bears away the idea that there are objective moral standards. So, um, kung isipin natin, um, both mayroong advantage and disadvantage yung cultural relativism. Next natin is yung the beginning of multiculturalism. Paano ba nag-start yung multiculturalism? Um, it has four stages. First is globalization. What is globalization? Um, it is a process of interaction and integration among the people, companies, and governments of different nations. A process driven by international trade and investment and aided by information technology. So it in, it involves two different countries no na nag-interact with each other pwedeng in terms of business and international laws pwedeng mga political agenda no 
So, yun yung globalization. Next stage natin is about multicultural society. So, from the word itself, multicultural society. Isa siyang society na binabuo ng mga tao na may iba't ibang kultura na nag-work together. No? So, ano siya, mga tao na nagsasama-sama na meron silang iba't ibang kultura, pwede galing sila sa ibang mga bansa, ganyan. And nagkaroon sila ng interaction with each other. And next natin is yung cultural relativism. Um, cultural relativism is a principle that an individual's beliefs and activities should be understood by others from the perspective of that individual own culture. Kung na yung isang tao, paano niya pinaperceive yung kultura ng iba based on his or her own culture. And lastly, yung multiculturalism. No? So, dito na nag-work yun, na nag-start yung multiculturalism. Um, multiculturalism is a characteristic of a society that has many different ethnic or national cultures meaning freely. It can also refer to political or social policies which supports or encourage such a coexistence. Um, important in this is the idea that cultural practices, no matter how unusual, should be tolerated as a measure of respect. So, ayan, kung paano um, isa siyang karakteristik ng society na, na patungkol sa iba't ibang ethnic groups, ganyan, or mga kultura na pretty na nagkukaya na nagsasama o nag, na, na connected sa isa't isa. So, yun yung multicultural music. Hi guys! Welcome back! And now, ang i-discuss ko naman is about the topic, cultural tolerance. So, let's proceed. Ayan! So, what is cultural tolerance? Ano nga bang ibig sabihin pag sinabi natin, cultural tolerance? Ayan! So, by definition, ang cultural tolerance is defined as the toleration towards different cultures and members of different nationalities and ethnic groups without the negative attitude or prejudices in evaluating their tradition, customs, religion, and etc. So, by definition, in short, ito yung pagtotolerate natin ng mga different culture without the negative thoughts about sa culture nila or without the prejudices or stigma about dun sa culture na ginagawa nila. Kasi that we should be, ito yung concept niya is we should be aware na napakarami nating culture sa buong mundo. And, yung culture na yon is maaaring tama sa atin, maaaring tama sa kanila, or maaaring mali sa atin, or maaaring mali din para sa kanila, yung culture ng iba. So, dapat, kailangan, ang pinaka main dito is, kailangan natin ng respect dun sa culture na ginagawa nila. Na kailangan natin tanggapin na ito yung culture na meron sila. Next is, Cultural relativism should result to cultural tolerance in order to preserve their, to preserve the distinctiveness of people regardless of whichever context they came from. So sinasabi naman dito na yung cultural relativism daw ay kailangan mag-result sa cultural tolerance. Uh, based on the past lesson, uh, alam naman natin yung meaning ng cultural relativism. It, so yun daw yung, uh, yung cultural relativism daw is kailangan mag-result daw siya sa cultural tolerance para daw ma-preserve natin yung distinctiveness or para sinabi natin kanina sa functions of culture yung identity ng isang lugar na yan or yung group of people na yan next naman is cultural sensitivity is the key to cultural tolerance ayan na sinabi na dyan cultural sensitivity so pag sinabi natin dyan is ang sinasabi dyan is kailangan daw natin maging sensitive sa mga Uh, iba't ibang culture. Kailangan natin ng respect or respeto para sa mga culture nila. Kasi nga, uh, para ma-achieve natin yung cultural tolerance, is kailangan natin maging sensitive sa mga sinasabi natin or the way of uh, thinking natin dun sa culture na ginagawa nila. Kasi nga, diba, uh, hindi naman tayo lahat, hindi naman tayo lahat is iisa ng pinanggalingan. Ang culture natin is napakalawak. I mean, uh, sa buong mundo, there's a thousand of cultures na meron tayo. Kasi, 
uh, sa iba't ibang mundo is iba-iba tayo ng way of living. And yung culture na yun is, uh, sa bawat lugar na yun is, uh, meron din silang sarili nilang culture. Kaya kailangan natin maging cultural sensitive uh, para magkaroon ng sinasabi nating cultural tolerance. Ayan. It is being aware that cultural differences and similarities between people exist without assigning them a value, positive or negative, better or worse, right or wrong, according to DABA 2014. So, ang sinasabi lang dito is, uh, kailangan lang natin maging aware and sensitive na yung culture natin is malawak. Meron tayong pagkakaiba at pagkakatulad sa mga culture ng tagaibang bansa at sa mga culture din dito sa ating lugar or sa ating bansa. Uh, cultural differences and similarities exist. Ibig sabihin, sinasabi dito na hindi tayo nabubuhay ng iisang culture lang. Na merong iisang culture lang. Uh, malawak ito and kailangan natin na irespeto ito and kailangan is wala tayong stigma or prejudices dun sa mga culture nila. Kailangan natin irespeto na meron tayong pagkakaiba ng culture at meron din tayong pagkakatulad ng mga culture. Pero, pero, isang malaki, but, ayan, sabi dito, it is not right to use culture as an excuse to continue practices that violate human right. So, may mga culture talaga sa buong mundo or sa mundo natin na nag exist na nagbabiolate din ng human rights. Halimbawa, dati, dati nung mga way way back nung mga dating panahon pa, uh, merong mga tribe na nagkaroon sila ng mga sacrifices na merong culture na kailangan nila magkaroon ng alay which is yung mga tao. So, dapat daw uh, sa modern world natin ngayon, dapat yung mga ganong klase ng culture is dapat hindi natin tinotolerate. Lahat ng bagay is may limitasyon. Kailangan natin maging cultural sensitive pero kailangan din natin maging uh, uh, aware dun sa mga culture nila kung binaviolate na ba nito yung mga human rights ng mga tao. Okay? As multiculturalism celebrates differences, it should only tolerate humanly tenable and acceptable practices which value and not endanger human life in general. So, tulad nga na sinabi dito, kailangan lang natin itolerate yung mga culture na uh, hindi nagbabiolate ng mga human rights. Kahit na nakasanayan na nila yung culture na yon, pero nagbabiolate naman sila ng human rights ng isang tao dun sa lugar na yon, is kailangan na hindi natin sila itolerate. Kailangan natin hindi itolerate yung mga ganong klaseng culture. A particular culture cannot invoke cultural relativism at all times. Sabi din ni Jacob, no, Jacobs to, noong 2002, He explains that cultural differences in its own makes a case for relativism. Ayan, tulad nga na sinabi natin kanina, yung cultural relativism results to cultural tolerance. So, parang sinasabi lang natin dito is, huwag daw natin laging palagiin na uh, ito, i-gawin yung cultural relativism. Kasi nag-result din siya sa cultural tolerance. And may mga, uh, dapat maging aware tayo na may mga culture talaga iba't ibang culture na hindi maganda in a way na hindi sila nagiging maganda because is nagbabiolate sila ng mga human rights. Okay? Yung mga culture na yon yun daw yung kaya dati sinasabi dito na wag daw nating palagiliin na yung cultural relativism at all times para hindi natin hayaan na itolerate yung mga ganong klaseng culture. Ayan. Lastly, Ayan, sabi dito ni Kofi Anan, Tolerance, intercultural di- dialogue, and respect for diversity are more essential than ever in a world where peoples are becoming more and more closely interconnected. Ayan, so yung pagtotolerate natin ng mga iba't ibang culture is maganda. Maganda yon based sa kanya. Da- dahil dito daw is yung, nag- yung way na nagkukonect tayo bawat isa. It is yung key para sa uh, unity ng mga nations kahit na iba-iba tayo ng culture na kinalakihan. Pero, tuwad nga na sinabi natin kanina na dapat hindi natin laging uh, 
uh, itatolerate yung ibang culture na nagbabiolate ng human human rights or uh, nagkakondak ng mga immoral acts. Okay? We should only tolerate those culture na does, does not harm uh, people or hindi sila gumagawa ng masamang bagay na maaring uh, makasama sa uh, sa ibang tao. Yun lang. So, ayan. Thank you for listening. So that would be that would be all about the topic uh, cultural tolerance. Thank you.